The research that's just been um, announced is about looking at whether a drug which is already used as eye drops for glaucoma, which stimulates eyelashes as a side effect of, that, of being used to treat glaucoma, will also work on scalp hair so that it can be used to stimulate hair growth in people with male pattern baldness, female pattern baldness and possibly other balding conditions. Hair loss is very disturbing for people um, because we use hair in the form of communication. It's very important to people to have good quality hair. It was designed, as I say, for an eye condition which increases the eye pressure. And as a side effect, people, some people, when they're using it, noticed that their eyelashes were growing. So the first thing that happened was they looked to see if it would stimulate eyelash growth. But eyelashes are very different from scalp hair. They're different shape, different structure. Um, and they have lots of strong differences. So we wanted to look to see whether they would actually also stimulate um, scalp hair. And the advantage of this would be that it has very little toxicity. You can put it in your eye without a problem. So therefore it should be a very good treatment which would not have side effects. Um, in our specialised um, Centre for Skin Sciences research labs, we are able to culture human hair follicles taken from the human scalp, keep them alive and let them grow hair in our conditions. So what we did was we did that with normal hair follicles and then we added the drug to the um, hair follicles in different concentrations, different amounts, and we found that it was able to increase the rate at which they grew and the length to which they were able to go by about 30% in just nine days in the culture. As a result of the work that we've been doing here at the University of Bradford, uh, the company has carry, is now carrying out clinical trials both in the USA and in Germany. At the moment all we can say is that these phase two trials will re, uh, give some results by about the end of this year. Well learning for, from researchers as opposed to uh, learning straight from textbooks is very important because one it stimulates students to think but also they get a good concept of the fact that things change and in the biological sciences, biomedical sciences, that is particularly important. When they leave university they will be able to keep up with new developments, they'll have learned the skills of researching and looking, by researching I mean looking in the literature to see what new things are coming up and to analyse what information is important and what isn't so important. Those are the skills that graduates need to have when they move out into employment because what they do when they first graduate may not be what they're going to do 30 or 40 years later.